our angels welcome back to another video so in this video we're gonna be making this i'm calling it maybe it's like a crystal diamond embroidery <laughs> ski mask i don't know what it's called but i was supposed to go atv riding while i was in jamaica but that did not work out as planned i had plans on making a mask so i just still went ahead and did it because it didn't it wouldn't make any sense for me not to do it so i was like yeah let's just keep let's just still do it so all you're gonna need is some ski mask some e60 glue or some hot glue gun i didn't have any e60 glue so i used the hot glue gun and some um brooch so that brooch that's what it's called it's pin brooch you can get this set on amazon because that's where i got mine from or walmart is available all over the place so I had this skirt and I just spin the brooch all over it like months ago. So I was like, yeah, why not just use it? Just take it off and then just use it for the ski mask. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to show you guys how the brooches look up close. But you guys want to see it when I put it onto this ski mask. But yeah, that's how it's looking. So first thing first, you have to remove the back. Well, you don't have to remove the back. You can just pin on put it onto the mask but that would be uncomfortable because you'd have felt it on your head and then when the skin mask is in your face you'd have felt it on your um on your skin so i decided to just remove the pin and all of that from the back of it which i'm gonna give you guys a closer look of how i did it because the camera was just very blurry it wasn't picking anything up not the camera the um the ring light that's why it looks like that but i'm gonna give you guys a closer look but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just removing the backs from all of these so that it could be perfectly, it would just lay flat on top of a ski mask. So that's what I did. What was I about to say? Because I want to end the video right here. Um. Oh, yes. After if, when you're adding on the brooches, it's going to get very heavy. So if you're using an E60 glue, so just turn it to the side, just like what I, I, I have it on the mannequin right here. Just turn it to the side, use the E60 glue, glue it on, and then just let it dry. Because if you keep moving it around, it's going to keep sliding because in the, hand, in the end, it's very heavy. So yeah, that's all I had to say about that too. That's like where I got all the supplies from. Ski mask is from. Yada yada yada. See so, yep. So now all I'm gonna do is remove the brooch from all of them from this from the skirt and then remove the back of it. That way it would be so much easier. I don't know this the name of the thing that I'm using to pull it off, but Here's a closer look. Here's the brooch. Just use this plier thing and then just pull it off. You have to twist it first and then pull it off. Be very careful of the pin because it will poke you. And just like that, it come off quick and easy. It doesn't do that all the time, but for this one, it did. And this is how all the brooches look after I remove the back from all of them and the skirt. And this is how, and that is what I remove. <laughs> So yeah, that's how it look. I had a ton of it as a ski mask. So I'm just trying to figure out like what brooch I want wear, where I'm going to be placing everything. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just trying to get an idea or like a feel of what, how I want everything to be because it's going to be. Okay, so this is going to be the fun part of the whole video going on the brooch on top of the ski mask so i got my hot glue gun it is a little messy like in the end you can see the dry glue but that's what i had that was available so that's what i use so it's adding on the glue and then pressing down this just this does get hot so be very careful because i burn myself and then i drop the the glue gun on my legs which burns it so be very careful that's 
That's all I gotta say about that. Just gluing, gluing, adding some glue, gluing it on. Yep. And that's what you're doing. I want to press down on it hard because then the glue is going to seep up, seep up through the brooch and then you won't be able to see it. Then you have to be cleaning it up, like picking it off. So be very careful about that. Just adding on the glue. I'm just putting it all over the place because I want it to cover up all of the front of it, around the mouth, around everywhere. So yeah. That's what I'm doing. And I didn't have enough. So I had this necklace. It was a blue one. You guys want to see in the end. I end up <laughs> using it. It was some leftover from when I was making a carnival white underwire bra, wire bra. So I still had some leftover. So I added on top of it. I thought it wouldn't look good since I had black and white and gold, but it had a little bit of gold in it. It was like a blue and gold, I think. I don't quite remember, but I think it adds a little bit of color, a little bit of oomph to it. So, yeah. And that's what I'm doing. You don't need to worry about the glue sticking on the mannequin hand because it does not. It just get very heavy, so be careful. You have to be doing it on your lap or someplace because then it keep turning over and over. So you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna cut it right here and then just go straight to the end of the video. Not the end, there's another step. So I'm gonna cut it right here. You guys get the idea. This should be pretty simple. Simple, simple. Okay, so I just finished this ski mask. I add some more, some blue ones on here. That's how it's looking. And I also got this chain belt. I got it from Amazon. This is how it looks. It's a cute little attachment piece. So what I'm gonna do is use this. I don't know what it's called. So just open up all of these. And then I'm gonna put this. Oh, let me see if I can handle this. No, it's not rolling over. Shoot. To cover up like the eye. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Just place it over the eye just like this and then place it over the mouth. I think it will look good. This is a little bit too heavy for the mannequin, but this is how it's looking. I want to add some more pieces right here. So I have these few left over, which I'm going to add on. Yeah, and then just use my E60 glue. So my ring light is not working. It's plugged in. This is the second one that I had this year. This is it. It's not working. I don't know what's going on with it. Like, it's not even turning on even though it's on. Ugh. So this is why I have to be filming on my phone and I can't show you guys what I'm doing. But you guys want to see how it looks in the end. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. And I'm using my hot glue because I don't think this can stay up overnight for it to dry. It's gonna keep falling down unless I pin it. But I don't feel like doing that right now. So, just gonna glue it on because I'm feeling a little bit lazy. And I'll show you guys how it looks. Ding, ding. I wish I had some more of these. Yeah, three, four, five, five more. That's it. Huh. Okay. I need a new thing to cover up this. 
Okay now angels, this is how the mask turned out. I added the chain on it and bam. I paired it with this black long sleeve that I got from the dollar store and then these pants that I got from iCrush and then these shoes. Obviously I made them. I wanted to be a little extra so that's why I add on the shoes. This is how it looks close up. Yep, this is basically the end of this whole video. I hope you guys like it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!